We're used to taking care of patients with geriatric hip fractures. That's not novel or new. What is novel or new is the concept of fixation of fragility fractures to the pelvis. This disease entity has been around for a long time, and frankly, we've ignored it. We just let patients get up and move and see how they do. Similar to what we've done with geriatric hip fractures, we need a thoughtful approach to how to manage patients who have pain or dysfunction after low energy falls of their pelvis. Diagnosing them with a CT scan, first and foremost, is important. Once we know that they have a fragility fracture of the pelvis, understanding the pattern and realizing if it's an unstable or stable pattern is critical. If it's unstable, then early fixation may be the best option for that patient so that they can get up, mobilize, move, get out of the hospital, get home, and return their, to their normal way of life. I think it's really important as we look to the future and understand that these numbers of fragility fractures are growing, how do we optimize their care in a coordinated fashion with all the care providers that have historically been involved in geriatric hip fractures, now pulling them in and treating them with and for fragility fractures of the pelvis.